What's going on, guys? We got Jason here playing. What, what, what leader was it? What leader was it? Hatchy Jack. Hatchy Jack. I like that. Yeah. And he top 16, but his deck is so pretty. I got to show you guys. So you tell us. All right. Um, so basically, I'm playing Hatchy Jack. Um, basically, the leader um, is basically a built in Nimbus. And then uh, like you wake him with three uh, cards under him. Um, or like three energy, but it's really three cards under him. Uh, once per turn, put one under him, one in the drop, and then you can wake it on turn three usually. Um, start off with uh, four dark planets. Um, basically, this card is basically your built-in Janimba. Um, usually if you play against a Janimba matchup, you don't even play this. You just, uh, this basic card, this card mills two at the end of the turn, and when you play it, you start to ghost. Um, they play two. Foos. Um, basically, this card searches out um, any seven or less uh, black battle card. Um, so I usually grab super combos or like Gohans um, off of this. Uh, it really comes in clutch, uh, especially late game. And I've already exhausted like my resources. I can just keep grabbing them out the drop. Um, this card that everybody bought out, <laughs> uh, the Gohans. Um, Gohan comes out after like anything leaves, um, say a blocker gets uh, KO'd, um, or at least by a skill, he comes out for that. Uh, if I play a ghost, he comes out. Um, he just automatically comes out, it's a 15 blocker. If I can get him out early game, um, usually the leader's a 10 and they swing it straight into a 15 block and they usually never combo up, so he usually stays there for a while. Uh, Imagine if he was a 20 guy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 For the Spark and Super Combo, um, basically the Spark and Super Combo works better in my opinion because off the Dark Planet you're milling too, so you automatically getting your Sparking online. Um, once you start, once you start milling out your other resources, um, they usually sit in the drop, and you're always putting back like three drops and stuff. So I always have my Sparking online by turn three or turn four. Um, and I usually try to awaken around seven life, so I don't like having the four drop Super Combo in there. And we got the beast himself. Uh, Hatchet Jack, a woman power. Basically, his active aiming is um, send three back, play him for free. Um, he kind of plays around the counter play. Uh, oh, yeah, three, three stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Courtesy, too, thank you um, for helping me um, get this max rarity as possible. Oh, I had to. You had all the stamps. Yeah. I couldn't catch yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, but basically, he comes out um, for free, sending it back, uh, sending three back. Uh, he plays around the counter play, so if they do counter play him, you got another one in hand, you can just play it again. Uh, especially like Vegeta the Cruel. If he gets Vegeta the Cruel, you actually send him to the drop, warp one. Um, Fu actually grabs from the warp two, the two drop Fu grabs from the warp to anything they like Vegeta the Cruel, you can just grab it right back. Um, and then you just play him again, you just send him back too, so it's like an endless loop. He played three of the promo. Um, basically, he's for your turn three play. And if you don't have enough targets and drop, like if you want to try to get um, his target up, um, I can explode. You're going to his three registered. put him in the bag. I don't got, only got, I'm missing one SPR. What? Yeah. No, there's no point of sending this yeah, video, no, man. man. <laughs> we go ahead and put this up right here. Hold on. Uh, we play four of this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so basically, he goes into this one. Um, this is your turn three play. Um, having these two on board is a lot of pressure. Um, he has a built-in dual attack. Um, it's kind of a fake dual attack. You swing this into a, a tapped um, battle card, he restands. Um, he's kind of like a digging deep uh, auto. So um, he comes out. Uh, you can put him in a drop by milling two and placing him in a drop, and I can tap three. So he puts targets in the drop. And you play him for three energy, and he's just a 25 duel. And then you go into him off of this one. Um, he's a dual attack, built in the gate, built in removal. Um, he's like the the card. Um, this card is oh, this card is insane. Like having a built in the gate and putting targets in the drop is really good. It's it's the synergy. Um, he warps through barrier, gets rid of all the problems, and he has dual attack, and he goes into an eight drop too. Even though it's a five drop, he goes into, uh, his permanent goes into an eight drop, so he plays around the leader, um, the 
Leader. How good was this card uh, in the tournament? Um, really good, uh, especially against like the pan matchups when people try to like really swing and put pressure on me through um, through digging deeps. Um, this card would destroy digging deep. Um, it really, it's like it's kind of like an early game removal because they never want to count whoop the 25. 25 is that perfect number. Um, like they're swinging at 15s, 20s. It's just, um, it is, it's just ridiculous. Like this card is really good. I really want to. I, at first, I put it up to. Four, I had it at four, but I had to cut it down to three. Yeah. And I really wish I, I could really play it at four, but yeah, it's at three right now. Let me get one, two, three, four. Uh, this is a staple. Uh, this card got on a lot of people's nerves. <laughs> this tournament, uh, he just comes back over and over again, like he really is a ghost. Um, you tap two, mill two, and he comes back from the drop. He's a 10k blocker, and then it's just like, say I don't have like, say my hand is breaking up, or like I'm ex I'm getting pressured out and I'm comboing a lot. He gets targets in the drop. He's extra protection. Um, if he gets KO'd by an effect, I can play the Gohan off of him. So like, if he gets if he gets blocked or um, like warped or KO'd, I play him, and then he just goes to the drop and I play him again. Uh, it's just like it's like an endless loop. And then all these are targets too. He's a four drop target, a three drop target. I try to stay with this deck um, to keep it as consistent as possible by playing a lot of targets. Um, so I never like whiff and I never not have like any fuel in the drop. Like. Uh, so next one. Um, 21 is a really hard matchup. So I went in this tournament main deck in Dende and uh, Force Ejections. Um, basically, Dende and Force Ejections is anti-ramp. Um, I went to my local tournament. I had three Force, um, force Ejections in the board. And I really didn't see it. And then like uh, 21 just ramps so fast. It's like ridiculous. Like could we play mono color in this deck. So we really need to have um, cards to get rid of 21's engine or slow it down. Cause once you, um, since, until we get Turles in a tournament pack, um, this is probably the best way to just deal with 21. Cause Turles puts pressure on uh, 21. But it's, since it's not tournament legal, I had to stick with this. Um, He's a target, he gets shuffled back into the deck, so it's not like a dead card. And then this is kind of like a cantrip too, um, if you don't, if you're not playing 21. I usually sign it out for not playing 21, but it's just a, just a good anti. Did you go against 21? Uh, no, actually I didn't. It was just <laughs> weird, I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I was like, I prepared for it, but I didn't get matched up for it, so. Um, so I'm, I could play some of the targets. This is Kawazu. Um This is a turn one play. Um, if you don't have your um, Dark Planet. So you really want to get your drop going as fast as possible. Um, he's a burst one. Um, he's a burst one, and then he um, puts himself in a drop and you draw a card. So you can put, he's a target itself. So if you can burst a target and play him, and then you have your leader effect, that's three cards right there. So you can play a ghost right there um, if you hit all your targets. And he draws a, draws a card too, so he's a cantrip too at the same time. So. Um, He's a really good play for turn one. If you if I have the dark plan, I always charge him. So it's just he's in there. Really funny in stream, somebody was playing Hatchiac, played this, used his effect to burst one, drew one, but didn't put this in the drop, thinking like it's like once per turn. I'm like, oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Imagine this I, once per I turn. I wish. I wish it was. <laughs> um, two uh, cooler Ghost Warriors. Um, he next ten for his activate battle. Um, like anytime, and this and all this triggers the Gohan too for coming out. So um, once this once this leaves off a of scale, gets placed in a drop, Gohan comes out. Once this activate battle comes out, um, this is really nasty. Like when I was playing a pan, um, I activated battle next ten on the um, on a digging deep, and then played a block on top of this. So then I blocked his next swing, so he couldn't even swing with it. And That's huge. Yeah, Gohan. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, Gohan. Uh, Gohan saves the day, and then he next ten. So everything, it's just like really really synergetic. Uh, um, this is a must uh, here. This is like the best ghost slug. This is their removal. Um, basically, if they play like, say I'm playing a Broly ape deck, they play the ape, he's a four drop, he comes out for two, 
he hits this, he hits any card that um, has the same energy or more uh, than your uh, opponent's uh, charge energy. So anything that's EX evolves, he warps Victory Strike, he whips, uh, he warps um, any bomb, he warps 21s. Like one time I was playing in uh, my Locos, um, um, a level eight, um, what's it, level eight, 21 came out. Got rid of all my energy, but I got rid of it with the slug, so I kind of stayed in the game. I still lost that game though because I didn't have the uh, I didn't I didn't have the force uh, force ejections at four in there. But yeah, he just removes anything that's problematic, so it, it kind of it kind of puts your opponent in check to not ex evolve and not play like big bombs um, and like just play under um, the nimbus the built-in nimbus effect off him. So he kind of he kind of just hinders your opponent from playing really strong cards. Like they'll get the swing off. Uh, on their turn, but once it's my turn, if I got a slug in my hand, it's gone. And they just kind of got to build from that. Um, so that's just for the ghosts. Um, these are like more wing kinds I have. I put in here. Um, Mira, uh, Champa, of course. Uh, and Mira is a seven drop. So anytime he gets milled, I can put him back in the deck. Um, and if I overround, he triggers off Gohan too. Um, and I can grab them actually from the uh, from the warp with the food too, because it's a uh, food set seven or less, so I can grab a mirror off of that, if, if, just in case. So I can swing twice with a mirror. Um, and uh, dark banish your food. Um, it's really good early. If I if I can put back all my targets, I try to warp like my negates, super combos, uh, late game stuff that I can't get shuffled back into the deck. I try to put my three drops, my four drops all back in the deck and then uh, overround for that. So I can still have my stuff in the deck. Um, then we got Demigra. Um, I played Demigra once today uh, against, um, I really played this for the um, Freezer Prison. There's a lot of Freezer Prisons running around. Um, it's really good because you can, um, even though, because like you're both playing a stall game and you're trying to, um, sit back and try to take as try to get as much energy as you can um me having access to demigra i can take out their targets they all search for because you know um freezer prison searches out seven drops um all the big stuff i can rip this out the hand um or i can go for a game like an uh a beerus match too beerus like basically just for like red decks uh, i try to rip out topos they can negate but i can still rip out the rest of the negates out their hand the topo negates body negates and then um i just play three negates Two power bursts and then a Sun Goku making an entrance. Was that enough? Yeah, uh, it was enough actually because um, you can only swing twice. It's like a Nimbus effect. Mm -hmm. So um, I wish I could have played uh, three power bursts, um, but it did fine without it because I, I play a lot of blockers. The Gohan and uh, the Lichi um, blockers did enough. Um, and then the Sun Goku making an entrance and then uh, looping this with this. And I can grab. Um, I can actually grab this negate off the food too, the two drop food. Yeah. So it's like I always had access to a negate if as long as it got milled. Okay. But yeah, that's the deck. Um, you want to see, show this off? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, no, it's okay. Maybe yeah, you don't yeah. want to show the yeah, spice. Yeah, show the spice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the sideboard. Um, I played these. Um, if I wasn't playing twenty one. I would side out my Dendes and put these in. Um, they're just extra blockers. Yu-Gi-Oh player, JC Alexander, please come up to the front, please. Yu-Gi-Oh player, JC Alexander, up to the front, please. Um, when I KO, um, when he gets KO'd, um, I can play a Ghost. Like, I usually play a Cooler also, off of him or a Turles. Um, Remember, there's a case in prize support. I would side out you can come up and the, uh, back the front. The black, the uh, force ejections uh, for the turlets, okay. and then uh, I would also side in. So basically, like if I have, I play four um, force ejections and two of the dende, and I would uh, side in these for the black man sand. And first crusher is a three drop, so he gets shuffled back into the deck too. And then turlets gets rid of stuff in the war. So I would just swap out my den the force ejection um, and uh, dendes for this package right here. Um, it's just more targets, and it's the same same level entry. Cause I, I didn't want to uh, side out one drops for like fours or like fours for ones because it would mess up the uh, rotation. Um, I played um, two freezes in the side. It's for like problematic blockers. If I can't uh, really get the hatch jack out, instead I'm playing like a lot of barrier blockers. He taps it so I can hatch jack and swing through it. 
if I didn't want to waste my over round, uh, I mean my warp, uh, warp removal, um, on a blocker like that. If I want to really get rid of the bomb and tap it and then swing at it with the uh, three drop, um, the five drop promo. Oh, that swings dual attack, basically. Yeah, swing dual attack. So I can tap it and swing dual attack. Um, two Ghost Warriors. Um, it's basically the Cunning. Um, this card is beautiful too. Like, I love the foil on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, if they if they're flinging beans around, um, yeah, I just try to drop. I shot that in. Just try to slow that down, and then. This is for the baby matchup. Um, they play a lot of free stuff. And I want to try to pitch their hand. You ever try to bring it out on uh, Android 21 to bring out double Black Mass Sand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I try to play, yeah, double Black, black Sand. Uh, and it's, 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 if I'm getting started in life, I actually, uh, like, if it's a victory strike deck, um, if I actually want more cards in my hand, I actually swing with it. Okay. Um, but yeah, usually I decide in um, if they play a lot of free stuff. And then, uh, two more den days for 21 because 21 is it's just that's like that problem yeah yeah, yeah it's like it's, it's a problem so it's like I just put if I'm playing 21 I'm going four and four it's like I'm not, I don't want I don't want to get ramped on it's a shame you didn't go against 21 I know yeah <laughs> I know <laughs> it would have been great yeah so yeah that's um that's just the whole side that's the deck um you had a I, good time yeah I, great time like this deck is really fun a lot of people say this deck looks boring but it's like really fun it's so much there's so many plays you can do in here there's so many ways to play the deck but i, I, I really like this build um shout out to chris bro chris, <laughs> like, chris is my teammate uh he uh helped me like i was on untap i didn't know what i was playing boma apes at first okay and he played this hedge deck that against me i was like bro what is that bro what is that and he kind of showed me the skeleton so i kind of fixed it up his and, like a little bit more control yeah mine's a little bit more aggressive but yeah, shout out to him, bro. He gave me the, the deck idea. Um, and you gone ham. You you got in everything stamps yeah, as much yeah. as you can. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to get stamps. I'm trying to get everything foil. Uh, I'm kind of mad. I got these foil. I ain't bringing them. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Guys, if you have stamps and you want to get rid of them, put a comment down. Yeah. Reach out to this guy. He'll, he'll reach out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll send it through PayPal Cash App, man. Just uh, help me out. Yeah, <laughs> help me out. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll help me out. Uh, shout out Meta Club. My team, bro. Uh, they were over there. Claudio, Claudio Frankie, Mike. Uh, shout out to Houston, too, bro. So, yeah, that's the deck, man. All right. Thank you, Jason. No I hope problem. to see you soon. All right. Thank you.